Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're gonna get our forge completely running, all three of the ribbon burners. Now, before we can do that, I had to make a special block that would split the gas coming in, because I only have one line coming in, and I split it into three, so I'm gonna have three barbs on here, and this hole here is actually just a connection hole for those three here. It's just a manifold for the gas. So I'm gonna get this together, put it on, and then we can test out our Monster Forge, finally. So now for the moment of truth, I'm going to fire up the center uh, burner first and then I'm going to work on uh, firing up these other ones. And once that fires up, then I'll try and tune them. So first thing, fan, second thing, gas, and then I get my igniter and put it on there. So the key to this type of ribbon burner or this type that I made is that I, I make them that the ribbon burners are removable and they last way longer when they're not soaking in all that heat when you're not uh, using it, especially when you shut it off and you have all that heat that comes up inside the body, inside this uh, tube, the air tube, and it kind of deteriorates the uh, refractory cement and because the expansion is different on that metal than the cement it uh, tends to crack over time so that's what I built this one the same as my other forges that I can take them and in theory 
remove the burner like this and get it out of that heat. And the reason, now I'm gonna make some sort of stand so it holds those, those burners because I definitely don't wanna drop them. I have to make something that I can hang them on to. I haven't thought of that yet. Maybe around here somewhere. Yeah, that might work. Somewhere so I can get them out of that high temperature when I bring them to forging temperature, like this thing will be able to get up to about 2,500 degrees. So I don't wanna make sure that when I shut it off, I don't have all that heat heat soaking into my burners. You can see it just comes off nicely. I'm gonna put this one right here for now. Yeah, like that. Now I don't have all that heat. There is quite a bit of heat. I only had it on for maybe two minutes. And inside is a good 600 degrees right now. Um, so it heat, heats up pretty good. So I'm probably gonna build something that holds these burners when I take them out, some way of doing that. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a painting and then I'll bring it up to um, forging temperatures uh, a little bit later on in this video. So I put a piece up uh, inch and a half by three quarter bar. So it's the next day and I had to get my propane tank refilled so now it's filled up so we have a lot of propane and we're gonna try and fire this thing up again and see how um, actually and we'll try and bring it up even to a hotter temperature um, today now another thing I found I had a bunch of uh, the wax from the crayons actually fall out of one of the burners so I think that's why I was having a little bit of an issue of this one clogging up a little bit on the right hand side so now that I kind of resolved that so we'll see if that um, that works out so let's heat this thing up so we'll turn on the fan first Make sure all the valves are closed Turn on the propane tank.
got it going for about uh, oh, almost 15 minutes. It's pretty hot right now. It's about uh, 16, 1600 degrees. There you have it. Thanks again for watching Bonifab Custom as we tested our Monster Forge. We finally finished it. I'm going to be putting some doors on over some, maybe the next month or so. So the main thing is that I can continue now with my Mulan sword and I can do some more forging on it and I can make a lot bigger uh, projects with this Monster Forge. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later on next week.